you're an ex-Muslim. Where, where are you from? I'm a black, blonde, African American. I'm from Japan. What does this have to do with our topic? I mean, seriously. I, I'm, I'm looking for an answer. I'm Muslim. What they ask me? How old are you? What is the big of your shoes? What is the size of your shoes? What 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 does this have to do with the, our topic? Take the mic and teach us. Real. Okay, we, we will change the topic for you. I'm going to give the mic to Mr. Reed. He's a new in our room, and he is a devoted Muslim. And I'm going to ask you a challenge. Listen carefully, Reed. I will give you the chance to take any topic you want. You see, we will not pick up our cherries. And I challenge you to choose something which proves to us that Islam is from the true God. Is that fair, guys? What do you think? Is that fair? You see, I'm not going to pick up my cherries to prove Islam is bad, no. I'm going to give the mic to Mr. Reed. And he chose a topic, but please, when you choose it, we stuck with it until we finish it. So please, take the mic and choose the best topic which will prove to us like how we can prove that this Quran is coming from God. How we can do that. What, maybe it's coming from Satan. Maybe it's uh, made by man. Do you have any proof that this Quran is coming from the true God? Your mic is serene. Listen, bro. Listen, man. We all know that the Quran is a speech of Allah and is not created. The way you're interpreting things as far as Hadith and the Quran is incorrect. What I'm here to say is that um, you're blessed you don't live in a Muslim country because the way how you're lying and you're talking about Islam, I would, I would record what you're saying and I would snitch to the authorities on you and then they would make you either re Tell your authority to kiss my ass, my friend. My name is a Christian prince. I wrote many books against Islam. I have thousands of videos. I published them by myself. I record them myself. Correct, guys? I don't give a damn about your God and about your authority. And your God is under my shoes. You made me say that right now because you are making a threat. If you think you can scare me, you are the one that is scared. You are scared because of my words. This is why you want to report me to the authority. We are the one who protect the Kaaba, my friend. Our Awax is the one is protecting your Mecca right now. If you want, we can make a siege kebab. So stop being stupid and give me a proof that Islam is from God. Your mark. No, 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 buddy. You just want to put on a show. That's all you want to do is put on the show. You understand, Torheed. You understand that the Prophet Muhammad so Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did he say the word Tawheed? Did this guy say the word Tawheed? Did he say that? Explain to us the word Tawheed and where we can't find it in the Quran. You're mine. I'm listening. Go ahead. I want to see the word Tawheed in the Quran and what Tawheed means. You're mine. <coughs> Are you seriously that simple that you want to see the word Tawheed in the Quran? The entire Quran is, is Tawheed. We all know Tawheed a lot. No. I can't find one verse in the Quran speaking of Tawheed. Show me. How I learn from you, you're mine. Because Tawheed in Arabic means unification. If if the word Tawheed, if the word Tawheed is, is what you believe in, it's when you believe in many gods. Tawheed, like Tawheed is the same word we use when we speak about United States of America. United States. How many states? There is many. What do we do? We unite them. That's what Tawheed means. It's unification. Uniting. So if your God is one, how you unite him? You're mine. <coughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. The word he that I'm talking about is Rububi of Allah's Lordship. The proof is Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praise and thanks. Thank you very much. The proof is Allah saying Alhamdulillah. Allah saying to Allah Alhamdulillah. How that happened? The one who's talking is Allah. Allah saying, Alhamdulillah. Who is who is the God of Allah? You might. Who is talking and who is saying, say, thank you? Go ahead. Alhamdulillah means thank you, God. Did you know that the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad 
by way of Allah speaking the Quran to the angels. Hold on, but the one is talking is Allah, my friend. When the Quran says to Muhammad, say, that will make it make sense. Did the Quran in that verse say, say? No. Allah saying to Muhammad, Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alameen. That doesn't make sense. Like what? Lead us to the straight way? Allah saying, lead us to the straight way? This verse to be accurate, it has to be made by a man saying that to God, but not God saying that to the man, your man. SubhanAllah. Hold on. Did Allah in the Quran say SubhanAllah? How Allah, he says, praise be to Allah, but he's Allah. You say every word you say is against Islam. Guys, Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. But who is the one who's talking Allah? It doesn't make sense. How Allah, he says, subhanAllah, you're mine. And you can curse me, no problem. My Lord, my Jesus, my Messiah, he said to me, when they curse you, it's a blessing for you. And we are a Christian, and death for us means nothing. This is why, my friend, I have no fear of your Dracula God and your prophet and his monsters and his killers because we are the follower of Christ. We are the one who your prophet say. When the devil, he see him, he will be melted. He will be dissolved like salt. I am a follower of the Messiah. You are the follower of Muhammad who is no one. Now, instead of giving me something to prove to me that Islam is from God, you are giving me proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. How Allah, he says, praise me to Allah. How Allah, he says, Alhamdulillah. And let me ask you, Mr. Uh, uh, Rio, why you are avoiding to give me a clear proof that Islam is from the true God? Don't you have one? What do you think, guys? Why this guy is avoiding this? I keep asking him to give me a proof that Muhammad is a true prophet and Allah is a true God, and he is avoiding that. Why? I say, as somebody said in the text, because you cannot do it. So I want to take, give you the mic, please help us. Give us a proof that Islam is from the true God. Your mic. So um, I have a question. Do you know about when um, Jesus Christ is going to descend on the wings of angels? on the left minaret in Damascus and then come and kill the Dajjal with a sword and then the young dude in my is going to come and then he's going to hide in the Mount Torah and then yeah have you heard about all this stuff yet? <laughs> or do you make him talk and give you a little bit more knowledge about it oh my friend you are full of knowledge I know nothing God, did he say that the Messiah will come and he will kill the devil? Did he say that? Did he, did he, we just heard him saying that, right? So the Messiah is the victorious, not Muhammad. Muhammad is the grave. So how you follow the dead man and you leave the one who will kill the devil? If Jesus, you just say everybody heard it. And by the way, guys, Jesus will come in the manor in Damascus. Anyone knows what the manor in Damascus? Anyone knows what is that? Anyone knows what is that? It's a most common menorah. It's not even 15 meters high. And this is supposed to be the elevator of Jesus. I mean, this is stupid. Jesus, he will come down in the menorah. Why? He needs the stairs? Ah, this is reminding me of what your prophet, he said, because always there's menorah. Guys, do you remember when Allah, he said, he sent the two angels, Harut and Marut? Huh? He sent them. Why what? He sent them in the menorah. What is that? The 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 the, the tower of ba Babel, <laughs> the Babylon tower. Always the menorah is needed. The elevator, my friend. You need a high building to go to sky and come back. You can't go down to earth right away. You need a menorah. Makes sense. So if we go to the Quran in chapter two, verse one or two, you will see there's two angels. They come from the sky. And they land in the Menorah, which is built by the Babylonian, the Babylon Tower, because it's high. And then they went down. Now, Mr. Uh, Real, do you know what those angels, Harut and Marut, what they did in the earth when Allah sent them? 
As long as you are a person who has knowledge, do you know what they did? Dude, oh man, you are just, you're driving me nuts. I, I don't remember having nothing back to say to you. You're just crazy guy. SubhanAllah. And when you're talking about Soro Bakker, I at 102, and you're talking about uh, Harut and Marut and about the magic and stuff, that's so messed up because like, you're talking about when um, the Shaitan, Suleiman is free from that. Suleiman didn't have anything to do with magic and Babylon and all of that stuff, man. You should care a lot, yo. You, you, know, you know about Islam and you reject it. I don't know what, no. What is the answer? I'm not talking about Suleiman. I'm, talk I'm asking you, those two angels, they came to earth to do what? Do you know? Give me a speech. You, just what you do, you flip the pages with that. You, you're looking for answers, you are ignorant. Correct, guys? What those angels, they came down to earth to do? What is their mission? Your mind. Take a mind. Don't give me a speech about Suleiman. I'm not talking about Suleiman. Those two angels, they came to earth to do what? Your mind. I will give you. I will give you time to find the answer. We have here a guy. His name is Ibrahim. Nightmare. Just uh, apologize from you, please, because those. Okay, so let us hear, Mr. Ibrahim. Ibrahim, guys, he want to prove to us Tawheed from the Quran. You believe it, Ibrahim? You want to do that? It's a miracle. You, Mike Ibrahim, prove it to us. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to prove Tawheed that is in the uh, Quran, yeah? First of all, what is Tawheed? Tawheed basically means the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, as we know, Tawheed mm -hmm. is split up into three categories, yeah? So the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, the ones who were the students of the the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, yeah? Mm -hmm. They explained that there are three types of Tawheed in the Qur'an, Tawheed Rububiyya, Tawheed al uluhiya Tawheed al asma wa Sifat. If you want to see a verse talking about Tawheed, I'll give you one right now, yeah? Bismillah rahman rahim uh, uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, there's a three kind of Tawheed. Did you hear say that? Did you hear, did you hear that? Do, do you, guys, did you hear? Am I deaf? Oh no, I'm not. Even the Tawheed, you prove it by the Trinity? Even the Tawheed, you want to prove it to me by the Trinity? Why three? Ibrahim, why three? What is, why not two? Why not one? You might. Yeah, I will give you the mic. I want to I wanna understand, my friend. I don't like people just to throw words. I'm not that kind. Every word you say to me is going to be used against you in the in the in the court of a Christian prince. I'm warning you. So you just said you proved to hate in three ways, in through the three direction. Why they are three? So you are trying to prove to us Allah by Trinity. You are saying to me Allah have three branches. Allah the first branch, Allah the second branch, Allah the third branch. Explain to us, Shumai. <laughs> Bro, um, I would appreciate it if you don't cut me off randomly. I know it's your room, I know it's your chat room, but I would, you know, I was going to explain to you the three. Okay, I'm going to start now, but inshallah. Yeah, Bismillah. I didn't say there's three kinds of Tawheed. I said this, I should have said that there's three categories of Tawheed. Number one, Tawheed al Rububiya the Lordship of Allah. Number two, Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, the way we worship Allah. Number three, Tawheed al-Asma wa Sifat, the names and attributes of Allah. No, Tawheed is not Allah. <laughs> Tawheed number one. We, uh, the... I, I apologize, Ibrahim, because when I have a conversation, sorry, the third talk don't allow two guys to speak, no, because I have a question. Guys, uh, we we prove the Tawheed in three categories. Did he say that? 
So Allah, oneness cannot be proven in one category. The question is, why there are three and four? Why not five? What about seven? Why three? Attribute, worship, right? Attribute and worship, and rububiyyah. By the way, Elohiya have nothing to do with worship. I don't know where you get this from. The one who's teaching is really funny. Elohiya became worship. That's really funny. So, why three? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand from you why Allah will prove himself to you or Allah, he become clear to you, the oneness of Allah, by three. I, I see everything in Islam is based on three. When you want to read Quran, you have to read the three names of Allah. <clears throat> Allah Rahman Rahim. All the names are 99, which is multiply of the age of Jesus, 33, etc. And the way to prove Allah is the three categories. <laughs> Why? And even your prophet, when he see a man, he said to him, Assalamu alaikum three times. If you want to take an oath, you take it three times. If you want to do evolution, you have to clean yourself three times. You say do the same act three times. You want to blow your nose, you do it three times. I mean, why three? Why Islam is not perfect without number three? And yet you are trying to claim that Islam is against Trinity, you might. No, sorry, but you are mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> Allah is not Tawheed, and Tawheed is not Allah. But you have misunderstood yeah? the Tawheed <coughs> is our Aqeedah that we believe yeah, regarding Allah yeah, and it stems yeah, sorry first of all, what I want to know is you're trying to say that we explain Allah with two, three things I don't know what you're talking about because number one, I said Tawheed al is the Lordship of Allah number two, I said Tawheed al Uluhiyah is referring to Tawheed al Ibadah, yeah? Tawheed al Ilahiyah, Uluhiyah, Ibadah, yeah? And what, what is Ibadah? Ibadah is our actions. Are we Allah? No. Tawheed al Ibadah is the way we worship Allah. What? what? Oh, okay, okay. Well, so, what, what does this have to do with proving to me that Allah is one? You, the way we worship Allah. That's mean you have a lack of intelligence. Correct, guys? Who care about the way you worship Allah? I asked you to prove to me Tawheed, you say to me the way I worship Allah. That's funny. That's you must tell me. You do not understand what believing one God means because you're mixing between an act you do in the ground, bowing down to this God, and between who is this God? I did not ask you how you pray. Secondly, I want to ask you a question. Did Allah take Shahada? Did Allah take Shahada? Did Allah convert to Islam and take Shahada or no? You might. <laughs> what? Did Allah take shahada? She's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he finds it very funny. About? He's laughing. What are you talking about? Did Allah take shahada? What are you talking about? Bring... I don't know. I'm asking you. Either you say yes. I don't know. You are you are laughing at me. Is that because I'm naive and you are intelligent? You tell me. I'm asking you. Did Allah take shahada? Did he or not? You mind? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he, he takes oaths by the Quran. The Quran is the kalam Allah. The kalam Allah is the attribute. My question is very simple and very clear. Did Allah take shahada? Yes or no? Either you say yes or you say no. And the angels testified that he's the only one worthy of being worshipped. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with the Muslims? One second. Uh, the, the guy is saying, did, did Allah say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah? Why would Why would Allah say? It's of course is no. Of course is no. Guys, did he say of course is no? Did he say that? Okay, chapter three, verse number eighteen. The mic is yours. Chapter three. Verse number 18. Shahid Allahu anna hu la ilaha illa huwa. 
Oh, I think you should have the... You're mine. Sorry, uh, what is it? Chapter... I've got the Quran in front of me now. Chapter 3, verse what? 18. Allah witnesses that there is no deity except Him and do so the angels and those of night that He is maintaining creation in justice. There is no deity except Him. There is no deity except Him that exalted. No why Allah witnesses that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah. This is. Yeah, yeah, it says Allah, Allah, Shahid Allah, Shahada, Shahid Allah, and the Hula, Ilaha, Illa, Hua, Hua, who? Allah taking Shahada. Why, when I asked you, do I take Shahada? You made fun of me, everybody heard you, correct, guys? Did, he, did this guy, he laugh at me? Did he laugh at me? Here we go. Your God, Allah is taking Shahada. Why Allah is taking Shahada? You're mine. Only Allah knows. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, Ibrahim. What happened, Ibrahim? Ah, you you went outside, you took Shahada, you came back. I got it. You're mine. So why Allah taking Shahada? You're mine. First of all, any Muslim will tell you this: that Shahada is that Shahada is this. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You're telling me here. Hold on, hold on. False. Show me one place in the Quran and say that this is a Shahada. Is that fair, guys? If you show me that, I promise you, I will never open my chat room again and I will never talk about Islam again. Show me a shahada saying that there is no God but Allah and there is no Prophet but Muhammad. Show me. You Muslims, you fabricated the shahada. The shahada is what you see in front of you. Only. Where do you get the shahada from? Fabrication. You will tell me in the hadith, right? It's in the Quran. Why it's in the Quran? Allah only saying he witnessed for himself. But in the hadith, you fabricated a new story, you might. Ishada, what are you talking about? Ishada, you know, everywhere around the world, for someone to become a Muslim, they have to say, Ashadu and Lai. Ibrahim, are you deaf? I just said this is your fabrication. The Quran never had this Shahada. Never. Show me. And don't speak to me in Arabic. You don't know Arabic. You know two Arabic words and you want to say it, you want to practice them with me? Huh? Come on, don't do that. I'm, I'm very case sensitive. I will cry when I hear somebody speaking Arabic like me. Don't do that. You don't speak Arabic. So, show me the Shahada in the Quran. The Shahada, the most important thing in Islam is not in the Quran. Are you saying that? You mind? Wallahi Razim. Wallahi. Anta Jahil. Huh? Anta Jahil. Yeah? You see, you, yeah? You are crazy. You know why? You are saying, where is the Shahada in the Quran? Where is this in the Quran? Where is that in the Quran? Yeah, Ahi. You open up Sahih al Bukhari, wa Muslim, wa Tirmidhi, wa Sunan Abu Da. Here we go, the madness. Who is the crazy? I ask about the Quran. You said to me, open a Tirmidhi? Guys, I ask him, show me in the Quran. He says, open the yellow pages. Abdul, listen to me carefully. Let me make it slow. Where is the Shahada in the Quran? If you don't speak my English, I will speak like Zakir Naik. Brother Tutor, the brother that can quote him, where we can find the Tahada in the Quran? First of all, let me be told, there's no Tahada in the Quran at all. This is what Zakir Naik said. So, what do you say? Do we have Shahada in the Quran or we don't? Don't, don't fool yourself. It is not in the Quran. Do you agree? It's a fabrication. Allah, he never said Shahada the way you are saying it. Allah, he said the Shahada as you see. This is the Shahada of Allah. He is the first one to convert to Islam. That's a miracle. Allah, Allah saying Shahada. 
And then when we ask the Muslims, where do we find the Shahada? They said to me, open the Europe pages. Where we can find the Shahada in the Quran, Ibrahim? It's not there. Is that correct? this individual he is acting as if every single thing every single practice is uh, described in the book for example you know when we perform ablution you know when we uh, perform the salah you know when ablution in the Quran ablution in the Quran right guys ablution in the Quran but shahada in the Quran do you hear this? Evolution in the Quran, but Shahada is in the Quran. Which one is more important? Which is not true, actually. Now show me the evolution in the Quran, by the way. Oh, I want to show you. I want to see it. Well, what do you mean, evolution in the Quran? The Quran give you the clear, the, the, the whole evolution teaching? Are you sure? Your Quran is an empty book, my friend. There's nothing. The Quran say you pray three times. You must have you pray five. The Quran say Shahada the way I... We will stop with this recording. I just wanted to make it a short, uh, it's not a really short, but just to show you how funny the Muslims are and how the Muslims do not know who is their God. They do not know the nature of their God. They have no idea how to answer any question. They are the same as a recording machine, copy paste from each other. It's the same like a bacteria who they are copy of each other. Nobody have his own identity and nobody have his own knowledge and nobody investigate. They just carry on books in the top of their back, but nobody read the books. And nobody investigate the Quran. And nobody want to ask questions, simple questions as we gave them. With this, I want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos and share the videos with your friends. Thanks.